Welcome to this James the Bike Guy where today we're checking out the 2022 Specialized Stump Jumper Frame Set. This is a pretty cool frame where for 2022 you're able to get virtually identical frame to the S-Works variant by saving a little bit of money and skipping the S-Works name tag. So we're going to go into some of the features and designs of this bike, talk a bit about what comes with the frame, what's new on this modern generation of Specialized Stump Jumper, and then of course we're going to find out exactly what it weighs. So if this kind of thing is interesting to you, I suggest just stick around and let's check out this bike together. So to begin talking about the 2022 Stump Jumper, we should talk a bit about the changes they made for 2021. And there's a couple here that are really significant. So first thing that is totally obvious about this bike is going to be the missing horse link. So a horse link rear suspension used to have a four bar linkage, which would include a pivot right here on the back, allowing the pedals to be totally divorced from the way that the suspension action would work. And that allowed the bike to be super, you know, smooth and take up some of those small bumps and chunkiness as you went through trails but it lacked a little bit of uh, pedaling explosion or some efficiency that uh, otherwise some other bikes had. And so for the redesign of the 2021 model, they went ahead and they took that four bar linkage and they made it a modified single pivot. So right here from the pivot to the rear axle is all one solid piece. And they're now utilizing flex stays, this top chain stay portion to allow some flex as it goes through linkage driven suspension to your shock. And what that means for you is essentially by doing this, they've been able to increase the pedaling efficiency, allow the bike to be a bit more snappy and have a very progressive curve to help with bottom out feel with a lot less weight as well. By removing that pivot and some of the complexity and relying on the carbon fiber to be able to do some of the absorption, it's really dialed in the way it feels. Now, of course, because of this design requiring the carbon to make it happen, that means this whole rear triangle is carbon fiber. And that's something that I think is so neat about the newest stump jumper. So this frame is going to be made out of what they call their M11 carbon fiber. That's their mountain carbon. 11M indicates that this is the highest level of carbon that Specialized is making for a frame. And so that means you're getting S-Works level performance out of the same frame. So things like your threaded bottom bracket you can see in there is basically hollow. It doesn't run a full aluminum tube all the way through, but instead has two races epoxied in. And then the only thing that's really different that I can tell between the bikes is going to be in our linkage. So the linkage on this variant is going to be all aluminum. And in fact, on the S-Works version, these pieces, such as your clevis, as well as your swing link, those are going to be made out of carbon fiber, whereas on this bike, they're made out of aluminum. And that brings us into one of the cool party tricks about this bike, is it's got a high and a low position for the shock. Essentially, what that does is by switching this high to low, it elongates your chainstay length, allowing the bike to essentially pitch forward a little bit, get a touch more aggressive, and then when you go into the low position, it allows the angles to slacken out. And that's gonna net out with a head tube angle of 65.5 and high and 65 and low. A seat tube angle effective at 76.5 in high and 76 low. A chainstay length of only 432 and a bottom bracket height of 335 in large and 328. And those numbers really make for this to be a super active and very playful bike on the trail and does a good range of, you know, just more than cross country trail performance to even edging on on being able to take it to a DH park if you wanted to ride smooth and kind of blast down and have a great day. And the bike is designed around 140 millimeter fork going up front. So this rear end with the flex day runs 130 and it overshocks by 10 millimeters at the front end. Speaking of the front end, of course, we're gonna be all internal cable routing, beautiful frame with integrated races for your tapered head tube. And then the last thing to talk about before we place this on a scale is gonna be right inside of here. So you just saw that the SWAT door comes off and that means there's gonna be internal frame storage to this bike. So inside of there, you're able to put a tool roll, whatever you want, you can slide right inside of the frame, making your storage a little bit easier, also down low in the bike for better handling. So that's a quick look at the new 2022 Stump Jumper Carbon Frame. Now let's go ahead and find out what it weighs. We'll go ahead and place the frame right onto the scale. 
and you'll see that it's going to come in and weigh 2,624 grams, which isn't too bad considering the S-Works version is only about 100 grams lighter at 2,514 grams. Well, thanks so much for watching this video on the 2022 Specialized Stump Jumper Frame Set. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts about this bike down in the comment section below. While you're at it, be sure to hit that like button, the thumbs up, I really appreciate it, and definitely hit subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw.